Today on The Grid, it is Blind Photo Critiques. And we have a very special guest today. Rockin' Rob Foldy is here. Eric Kuna is here. Amanda's our entire audience. And maybe Kathy Perepsky at some point. And we're giving away a Think Tank bag and a whole bunch of other fun stuff. We'll be saying some swear words. And it all happens in 60 seconds right here on The Grid. It is brought to you by Tamron. Check out their 28 to 75 millimeter f2.8 lens. It's for Sony full frame mirrorless. It's awesome. Go to tamron-usa.com. And Westcott, check out their new rapid box switch. It has nine light modifiers and 13 quick swap light inserts. Check it out right now at fjwestcott.com. And Profoto, the light shaping company. Check out the Profoto B1X power in all the right places. Go to profoto.com slash US. And Platypod, the tripod alternative that is changing the world. Everybody has a Platypod. You should too. Go to platypod.com. Hi, everybody. Scott Kelby here. Welcome to another live episode of The Grid. My chair is a little lower than everyone else's to keep me down. Yep, we're Look at this. Look how low I am. This is pretty unfair. It's huh? ridiculous. Yes. Anyway, welcome to the show. I have two big boys with me. To my left, sports photographer, love machine, married, recently married, and just all around cool guy, great photographer, great guy, Mr. Rob Foldy. Hi, Rob. Hi, everybody. What's going how, on? How many times is this for you on the grid? At least three. Oh, I don't know. This yeah, has got to be your third or fourth. It's more. It's more. Three. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, five, six. And you did our special four, live four. from Fort Lauderdale. We did episode. that from the marina. From the marina. The that Hilton. was a wild yes. day. Yeah, that was fun. Fort Lauderdale. Anyway, yeah. glad to have you here for blind critiques. Thank you. You've done the blind critiques before, haven't I've you? I've done the blind critiques. All right. Before. So you're like a veteran. Yeah. All right. Happy Halloween. Mm -hmm. everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Halloween. I'm dressed as a small host. <laughs> and <laughs> to, to my right is Mr. Eric Kuna. Hello, Mr. Kuna. Hey, how's it going? You Good did, to have you back. You did a great job while I was gone. You were like Skyping yeah. everybody in the yeah, world in. We you were have, like a boss. We were multi-time multi, multi -time zones, multi-continent. I know. Actually, whatever. I tuned into one of them. I got, to, yeah. I got to see you, and I was like, wow, he's really doing good. And then I thought, I better get back or I'm going to lose my gig. I better I get back quick. And he lowered hey. your chair, so. Yeah. Yes, he it was lowered, lowered my chair. chair. Well, uh, I just want to say first that uh, uh, it is Blind Photo Critique Day. So we have asked our viewers, who are all taller than me, to send in their, to send in their images. All and right. we're going to give our honest critiques of them. And so that's, that is what. I got gotcha. you. Oh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> I, I feel much better now. Thank you. There we go. Hey, remember, Eric, just because the screen keeps cutting out, it doesn't mean the no. feed is cutting no, out. It doesn't. All right. Cause our, we have, we, we have a, a monitor here in the studio that, like, that whop, just whop, turns whop, on and whop. turns off all the time. It's fun. It's interesting. It's, it's fun, like yeah. a game show. It's kind hey, of like a some, slow we got, stroke. We, got, it's, we, it's we do have people challenge. watching it, though. Oh, we good. There's see people, people watching it. We got Gordon Smith saying hello from Hamilton, Hamilton Ontario. How's it going, Eric? We got Becky G saying, hey, Gordon. <laughs> I'm checking from Goodyear, <laughs> Arizona. And then we got Craig B. from Northern uh, Virginia. We got Louise Sales from sunny Florida. Hey, just like us, sunny yep. Florida. Sunny Florida. And it then Michael here. Dowd saying hello. Uh, we got Rampton in there saying Rampton hey from the north. Rampton from the far north. Yeah. Suzanne saying hi from Germany. Looks like Harvard saying hello from Norway. Carolyn's in Sweden. Yeah. And, and we got people. some other people, but they're down there. They're kind of scrolled down. Our monitor's so, not working. Hey, anyway, hey, since, we, we, since we, we brought up Rampton, can I say something? Yeah, yeah. So, so Rami's doing a workshop in January in Canada, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, awesome. And I'm, I'm, I think I'm going. So I'm going to go. I'm just like, I'm just there as a hangout with, with Rampton. Yeah, and yeah. Learn stuff. He's an amazing landscape photographer and great at post processing. He has a class on his post processing yep. techniques here at Kelby One. And, well, in and plus, January, I think we're gonna we're gonna be going to do a class with him on location as well in snowy Canada. Are we taking Juan? Oh, I hope so. You know, we'll Juan see. loves cold weather. Juan, 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 like, Juan loves cold weather. Take me to the frozen north. Anyway, I'm, I'm I am I am excited for you to go because I'll tell you what you went you went to his this workshop. has been or that location besides and I've said this besides shooting on top of the vehicle assembly building or shooting on a rocket pad, that area is my favorite place to shoot. That's yeah, awesome. and especially at that time of year. And he, know. that's what's cool is he takes you to all the locations right to the spot. It's not really that hard to get to. Which is really cool. I know. Yeah. I'm just I'm I'm just waiting for uh, I mean, approval I'm, from the home office, yes. and then I'm 
I'm off to snowy yep. Canada. Larry yep. Becker says hello Ooh, Larry all Becker the way says from, hi from the parking, the parking lot. lot. Hi, Larry. Yay. Will someone let Larry in, or is that just where he's going to hang? I don't know. I don't think he's really on is the he parking, lot. parking lot. Oh, okay. All right. Larry, pet the dogs and for look, us, Daniel buddy. says, welcome back, Scott. Eric did very well. Well, thank you, Daniel. Yes, he did. I was very proud. I'm like, dang. It's because uh, when, when we first got Eric on the show, Eric wasn't like, yeah, I want to be on the grid. He's like, mm -hmm. look, if you really need someone, I'll go, but I'm not into this. And I'm like, ah, oh, you'll be great. Don't worry. Yeah, so we, we had him do a couple of shots, and he was fine. Scott, but, uh, Scott also gives all of us scarring on his arm, so that's, you know. Lots of preparation and, and really good training on what a grid episode looks like, and we're definitely not just up here winging it every week, so. No. A lot Let's of preparation. All right, you want to look at some photos? <laughs> Let's look at some photos. Let's start right here. Here we go. Here's our first. So people have sent these in. We don't know their names unless they gave us, you know, like a watermark or something. So we don't know whose photos they are. And uh, we just grab a whole bunch of them. And by the way, if you sent in yours and yours don't get chosen, we don't know who you are. So that's number one. Yeah. Uh, number two is tons of people send in photos for critiques. Way more than we could ever show in any episode. Way more than we could show in 10 episodes. So, you know, we just, we show as many as we can. But if you don't get chosen, it's nothing personal. All right. Here we go. Mm -hmm. So this is the first shot. And shot, yeah. this is nice. Yeah, okay. yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. All right. What do you guys think? I mean, overall good. Yeah, overall good. good. I mean, right? they've got yeah. good lighting. You know, they understand the concept of lighting. Yeah. 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 All right. I, I, I'm, I have to point this one out. Okay. This is a minor thing, but you're doing a product shot here. Now, I don't know if you did this for a client or whatever, but you've got a, you've got a lens problem here. All right. And it's the easy one to fix. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go grab. I can't open it in camera raw because it. Because, you know, it's the bridge, and so the bridge can't be expected to do a whole lot. It's <laughs> a piece yeah. of junk. All right, let me just open it in Photoshop here. All right, let me resize this screen a bit. Okay, here's all this thing needs. We need, now we can go to Camera Raw. You have to go to another program so you can actually go to Camera Raw. Let's go to Camera Raw. Here's all this thing needs. And as soon as I saw it on screen, I'm like, uh-oh. Go to the lens corrections. Go to this right here, distortion, right here. You've got like kind of a bulge in the, mm -hmm. the thing. So just go in here and just pull it out, get rid of yeah. that bulginess. Uh, let me just look about right, maybe there. And then recrop the photo and, and Bob's your uncle. Now, uh, I'm not going to recrop yeah. it, but I'll show you. Look at the difference. Watch. See how the bottle was actually bulging like out? Pointing out to yeah. you. Yeah, like it's yeah. punching out to you. Yeah. It's punching out towards you, yeah. right? Yeah. So you need to fix that. The other thing, I would just get a little lower with your thing, but this is, a, this is a minor stuff, you know, just like nitpicky stuff. But, you know, when it's product photography, that's one of the stickiest things where, like, I mean, everything the, has to be I mean, if you look right. at, like, the bottle, the bottle's lit well. It's got that highlight oh, yeah. on the one like, side yeah. of it. Yeah, I mean, it's lit well. This one's nice, too. I really yeah. like what you're doing with your lighting. The only thing I would say is there is a very hard triangle of light right under here. You might want to do two things. Number one, throw some kind of reflector. Just throw it on the floor or throw it just below where his shirt is just so this isn't quite so dark. Now you, some back. Yeah. The yeah. other thing is, you see how his shirt is really white? And his shirt is really white, but it's whiter than anything. Like the mm -hmm. brightest thing the in brightest the, photo the photo is, is here. Shirt. Yeah. So if you can just dark, you know, brighten... Darken you this like up, a, like maybe like a gradient, up. gradient in Photoshop, yeah, just, something. Yeah, yeah. I was, uh, it's, everything's hard to open today. Here, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, just we'll go bring back your to eyes up. Yeah, your 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 eyes bring drawn your eyes to the brightest part of yeah. the photo. So when so, that's the top of his shirt, yep. that's where your eye goes instead of his eyes, which are extremely dark. So let's just there you go, boom, and maybe a little little less. All right, so yep. so watch the difference. Yeah, it just brings your whole, it brings everything up. Yep, just like that, and, and that was what. Two seconds. Yeah, two seconds. Two seconds. So, and that's in but, but as well. Don't get me yeah. wrong. These are good photos. Yeah, you're they're a good. good photographer. I like what you're doing mm -hmm. with your lighting. I just I like all of it. If uh, I if I may offer a next step ooh, to, yes, to, please. to both of those. Absolutely. I think they're very, very close, but um just a challenge as they are so good is just to kind of take them to the next level. So when I see that, yeah, not only that the top of the shirt jumped out, but uh his eyes are a little dark, yep. a little retouching maybe under the chin, loosen up some of those, um, you know, maybe under his eyes are a little dark, some bags. And then on that product shot, there were some stuff kind of sticking out up like there. this right yeah. here. Yeah, that needs to that go. That needs to go. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, and that's a two-second fix, but it's so yep. distracting to a trained yeah, eye. Yeah, it is. 
Yeah, um, it is. But overall, really, really great job. But I think if you're this good, then the, the next level would just be those yeah. little retouching details. Hey, by the way, Rob's Rob's comments about the lighting here. If you ever see Rob shoots for, for Getty and he shoots, you're the official team photographer for the Miami Marlins? Yes, I worked in Major League Baseball for a couple of years with the Marlins. Yep. Yeah, and awesome. you shoot for the Dolphins and different things? I shoot for the Miami Dolphins. You're going to be joining us. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to admit that yet, but... No, no I'm, I'm, I am going to go shoot uh, my first the game of the year. In a weeks. But, yeah, but, I shoot primarily sports. And, right, and but he's sports. a lights-out photographer. His portraits are amazing, and his lighting is money. He's really, really great. And so, hey, I want about this. Uh, this is kind of the same thing. Is that There's just some extraneous sticks and stuff in yes. here. This is a really cute shot. The baby's face is a little hot, yep. just a little bit like two make thirds of a stop. Yeah, hot. it's like a little bit like two. I would say it's about two. Would you say about two thirds? <laughs> yeah, of about two thirds. <laughs> Looks like about two thirds of a stop. But good stuff. Good photographer. Yeah, I don't overall, spend too very, much very time good. because yep. mm -hmm. telling you, you're, you're this is nitpicky stuff because you're so good. Yeah. So let's take a look at our next photographer here. Oh, yeah. I don't want to open it in Photoshop. Sorry, I just wanted to do. Uh, Not yet. Uh, just uh, hit the space bar. Here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's yep. kind of an interesting shot, yeah, isn't it? Is. I like the directional light. Okay. Fox on mm -hmm. the run. Mm -hmm. Screaming, everybody comes and running. All right. Um, gentlemen. Well, the one in the middle is a snapshot. Yeah. That's the, just a this snapshot. doesn't even belong There's, in with the other one. Yes. Yeah, it's just like out of place. So the, yep. the light here is very bad. So it's it's almost everything's almost evenly lit. Um, the fence and the trees yeah. and the grass and the, the subject are all lit the same way. So there's yep. no depth and dimension. The, the moment's kind of weak. The, um, the like there, there's a line going right to the middle of the photo, which yep. is extremely amateur and um, distracting. Yeah, that's it's a snapshot. Great. It wow. kind of just doesn't. But it, it's wow, well, I, I can wow. see what you say. It just doesn't. <laughs> and that's what I say. It doesn't amateur. fit with the other ones. Yeah, you know? these are these are very. Great. Like I love the yep. um, the light, the light through coming the through there. Yeah, this is very pretty. They're very yep. pretty. Yep. And then there's the fox photo, which is again. Too bright. More of this, less yeah, of this. Correct. Yep. All right. Hey, Dalton says, Rob, go Gators. Go Gators, Dalton. <laughs> the Gators are doing better this year. We are mm. doing better than we have in a long time. Yeah. Yes, we're very excited. Yeah. yeah. It's a good time to be in Gator Nation. Do uh, Does my team get to play your team? You would probably play better than we would. Come on, the University of Alabama? You guys are quite Come good. Come on. You guys are good at we're playing the football. We're not that good. All right, uh, Larry says he's in the I'm Walmart. Stick with UCF. Parking lot. That's my team. Oh, national so, champions yeah. two years in a row. All yeah. right, uh, Becky G <laughs> says, "Hey Rob, thanks again so much for your kind comments on my my Adobe Spark page about my grandnephew Sawyer's T-ball game." Becky, you did a fantastic job on that um, project that you uh, cool. gave yourself. Great job, great storytelling, uh, great post processing, great images, all around A plus. So Larry has confirmed. He is in the Walmart parking lot. Yeah, that's that's yes. okay. I, it's Larry, not you're the break. I'm gonna text you a list. It's, it's not just any parking lot. Need. All right, here we go. We have uh, three shots here. Here we go. Okay. New photographer, different. Yeah. So each person submitted three photos. Okay. So, yeah. so the the first one is taken at I think the right time of day with the wrong, the wrong foreground, the wrong, and wrong place. setting. Yeah, yeah it's wrong very distracting. Place. Right time it's, of day, you get yeah. two points for that. Yeah, but then you get the minus wrong, four for the ooh. foreground's like got a lot of weird stuff going on. Yeah, yeah, that was a lot better. Good leading that lines. One's, good that one's that was the leading line. That's yep. the that's the best. Yeah, yeah. You know what would really help this though and make it look a lot more dynamic is a lower. Yeah, like bring the camera yeah, down. You're standing at at, at eye level, yep. and eye level bring shots are down. not not very awesome. And so you could make this shot a lot lot stronger simply by just getting down low. Yep. Yep. Can I, can, speaking of getting down low, we're going to be giving away. A platypod. We're going to give away something they need today. A that. platypod. That's we're what giving they away need. a platypod today. A platypod is is uh, designed to put your. It's like a tripod you can put in places that you would not normally put a tripod, but it's not a tripod because people hate tripods. This is lovely. Yeah, That, and that would have taken that shot way up. Yep. Yeah. Getting down low. Getting yeah. We're giving away both the big ones. See the one that says platypod with uh, uh, the big letters on the bottom. We're giving away the platypod max, which is the big for if you have a big camera, big lenses yep. or the ultra. I use the ultra on my 5D Mark IV and on what was my EOS R I had to send back. Mm -hmm. Remember we had to send back our mm -hmm. Very sad, I know, I love that camera. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have to get one, which is sad. I just gotta, I've gotta, I gotta get a it's deal on that. It's not sad, it just means the camera's really good for you. 
You no, know? I know, but I just that's a great now camera. I have to I have to go I have to find somebody that can give me a deal on one. Like, <laughs> hey, the one I used is used. Can I buy it used? It's been used. It's been all over. I put a million miles on that thing. You you just like it's, we should throw this got, in the trash. It's oh, got we'll platinum it status. Scott, you know? <laughs> yeah, it does. Were, it's Jesse, got Delta status. They were editing up Stacy Pierce Hall's S seven or uh Nikon Z seven. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, I saw that yep. on the Kelby One Social. So all right. Yeah, all yeah we right, just filmed that right. the other day with Larry Becker, who's in the Walmart parking lot. And that's, that's, that's right. Larry was part of that as well. And, yeah. you know, Larry looks so at home in a Walmart parking lot. You know, a lot of times yeah. he sleeps there, and it's it's interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, and then the last shot here. So I, I, I'm, I don't want to be mean, but you, you, you got to do some work here. You, 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 got, you need some work. Okay, I do have good news for you, though. We can help. So, look. There's two things. You're, you're doing landscapey kind of stuff here. So I, I got a free class you can go watch. Okay, it's completely free, no credit card required, nothing. <laughs> go to kelbyone.com slash free and go watch mm -hmm. my class called 10 Essential Techniques Every Landscape Photographer Needs to Know. It's completely free. Just go and watch it. It's a full-length class. There's other classes oh, there, yeah. too. There's 15 classes. Yeah. But go watch that class. It's going to take you an hour. But I promise you, you're going to look at your photos and go, oh, I know what I got to do now. And it's honestly, it's going to give you those those nuggets that you're yeah. going to need to apply. And that would make yeah. all these shots yep. better. You have, yep. you, have, you have the basis yep, for it. Correct. Yep. Yeah. And so, so it's completely yeah. free. There's nothing keeping you from doing it. No credit card mm -hmm. required. It's a great class. I've seen that class. It's 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 just stuff that makes you mentally approach the, the day differently, and it makes all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. it, it will. So yep. just go, go watch it. It's free. And cool. uh, but but the good news is none of your problems have to do with your camera. Your exposure is fine and things like that. You don't have any. So don't 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 spend any more time trying to go. I got to figure out my camera. Your problem is not your camera. You got that down. Yep. Now it's time to talk about uh, composition and things like that. Yep. And, and, and take the skills that you have, add this other thing, and you'll be in good, great shape. All right, yep. let's move on. Oh, actually, let's take a break. I, I feel breaky. Oh, yeah, we should definitely let's take, take a break. Let's take an achy breaky. When we come back, you know who will be here? Be achy breaky heart. All right, you have to practice saying this because I say this often. Rob Fody! Say it with me. Rob Fody! We'll be here when we come back. That. It's awesome. You should try it. We'll try yeah. it when we're off the air. All right. It's a yodel. Yodel. When you need a tripod that is compact, that is portable enough to take with you anywhere, one that is adaptable to any situation. That will prove versatile enough for any shoot. And is compatible with your other gear, giving you freedom to create your own perspective. Look no further. Platypod Ultra does it all. Visit platypod.com for more info. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by B&H Photo, the professional source since 1973. 
Hi. Hey, we're back. <laughs> Thanks for covering. Yeah. That Thanks thing. for covering. We're doing some Photoshop work there, right? Imagine that. Yeah. We're so yodeling. We're yodeling. Let me just see, because I want to show you something. All right. <laughs> so take, oh, take a look on screen. Oh. Let, me, let me open it. One thing that would have helped this photo a lot, I think. Let me just show you. Open in Photoshop. You're going to take that up a notch, huh? We're going to take it up a notch. This photo right here, Fox. Boom. He's the Fox right from there. other photo. Fox. There he goes. All right. Okay. <laughs> Back with you live. Everyone's here. Look who's here. Victoria Pavlov. Hello. Hey, Hi, Victoria. Victoria. Oh, Ben Tobias. Ben Tobias is an awesome guy. So he's a cop in Gainesville, and he's uh, kind of responsible for, well, a big part of that basketball cop. The kids were shut down for playing basketball, and Shaq came, and it was it was a, it oh, was yeah. a good thing. Ben Ben's a good guy. What's all up, right. Ben? All oh. right, Chris is here. Says, "Hey, the gang's all here. Glad to see you all." Joe's here. Says, "What's up, y'all? Denver tuning in, and Yao Paulo, Paulo, Yao Paulo from Rio, Rio de Janeiro, and Michael from Denmark. Glad to have you guys here. You know who else is here? Chiki Nando, Chiki. Mm -hmm. All right." Let us go to work. We have more people to look at their work. Here we go. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Yeah. You weren't in on any of that. Can I, we do that again? I was staring at those pictures. Can we do that again? Because yes. Eric and I, you notice how okay. the with our sound effects? Here we go. <clears throat> Ooh. Ah. ah. Said, oh, with the yeah, end. I didn't hear the last one. All right, one. it's oh, okay. Man. Anyway, uh, um, so you know, there's there's some nice stuff going on nice here. Nice stuff going on. The, the only thing that I, that stands out to me, I love the toning. Like all the toning yeah, is I very consistent. Yeah, they look like they three images like they from the same photographer. Yep. yep. Yeah. Uh, is you had a great opportunity here to do a long exposure and make that water really, yeah. really pretty, and you just didn't. Especially with the now, clouds you had. It could be yeah. because it could be because you you didn't have an ND filter with you. Uh, it could mm -hmm. be you had one and didn't want to use it. I don't know. We don't know, but but it could have took it up a notch. Yeah, this is still a very nice photo. The yeah, they got, you got a nice foreground, interesting foreground. You got a middle ground, and you have clouds Those that would have been lines. a beautiful long exposure. Yeah, but nice. Yay, you. Yeah. yeah. And that has a nice foreground, and that yeah. actually is somewhat of a long exposure yeah that, that one. this one is yep. a little bit yeah. of a long exposure yeah so if applying that technique to the last photo would Correct. have taken the last photo way up yeah yeah that one but and i think that's that i don't know they're 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 all, they're good. all good i love yeah. the, i love the tone i love how the blacks are black like there's good depth oh yeah nice HDR. con they're they're yeah you yeah. didn't go too far it's like them. they yep. all feel like they belong together it's all good all good mm -hmm. stuff all right very nicely done and, and other, I like how and, the, the skies are kind of boring, so you, you're focusing more on the foreground. Yeah, elements. they did but a really good blown, job of there's 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 still detail. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, they, it's cool. They compose, they compose the photos it, yeah. to, to not focus on the bad part. Yeah. And you com well done. Good photographer. Well nice. done. And an easy critique. All right, let's see what we have here. Fishies. Mm, Fishies. Okay. Mm, fish. Okay. Mm, mm. Fish. Mm, not, uh, fish. not fish. Okay, can I tell you something? Your strong part point is absolutely that. yay. Yeah. Mm. Over here, yay. yay. Mm. You know, this is this is properly exposed at the right time and all that stuff. And it's a it's a cool place. It's the Rialto Bridge in Venice. Yep. Uh, poor we Venice ate, is, right is having there. terrible terrible flooding. Yeah. You, were, you were there recently, right? We were there in April. In yeah. April, there we you ate, go. I can see yeah, I think it's like the worst in flooding, in uh, yeah. like fourth worst ever, right? Or something, fifth yeah. worst yeah. ever. Yeah, yeah. I think it's their fourth. Years. Yeah, so they're there. So yeah. our hearts go out to the people in Venice. Yeah. They've got sure. a disaster on Oof. their hands. Hey, just want to mention secret secret place to shoot. Ready? See the bridge? You go mm -hmm. over the bridge here. And <laughs> right at the base of the bridge, you go down a little stairs, and you shoot from here back this way through an archway.
Okay. There's a beautiful arch. Mimo told me about that. And we took our class there when we were doing our workshop. There's a great shot right there going across with the Rialto Bridge. There's a perfect frame. It's just, it's a really That's cool. nice spot, unexpected kind of you spot. Can, you can see but, your, your mall rooftop from that photo, too. That's another yeah. You can right there. Good spot there right there is. to shoot right there. All right. But but here's what I would like to say. Okay? You've really got a knack that's, for this. These are cool. beautiful yeah. and crisp and really nicely done. And this is a travel shot. It's it's okay. You didn't do anything wrong. It's not a bad shot. It's not a bad a shot, shot at all. But you you got this stuff down. Stick that middle one, I really love yeah, that I like one. The I love, love that. The stories and the way yeah. the silhouette. And then you got these two up here. Yeah, oh, yep. that's and, really and that cool. could that could well be that could have been taken in a uh, aquarium. Could have been or right. Something, yeah, like your home aquarium. No yeah, yeah, be very absolutely. small. No, but like you know, like <laughs> a really got nice. That, I mean, that could have been window light pouring in. Right. Can I point out some about this photo? Yes, you may. There's. So I see that as a subject and some foreground and obviously the pure black background, but that that second fish on like the right side of the screen is kind of like hidden behind that cauliflower looking thing. Coral. And it's just, if, if those were people and there was a person hiding back there, that would be super awkward to me. So I'm just trying to treat those fish. <laughs> exactly. Perfect. You fixed Boom. it. Boom. Done. Fixed. I'm just <laughs> fixed. Next. Print there it. we go. Print it. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's, are you, <laughs> the ultimate problem. Sorry. You didn't see that coming? <laughs> I did not. I did not see All that. All right. So I, so th these are good. I have, some, so I have some good comments here. Okay. All right. So. All right. So here's what I would say. This is somebody that has done this before. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, this looks like this is someone that just said, Hey, I'll shoot. You know, they, you've done yes. this before which is why I'm going to give you the critique that I'm going to give. So there's a couple of things that you could do, because these are good. They're all good. There's nothing wrong with any of them. But there's a few things you could do that would make a big difference. And I'll, I'll let, I'll let uh, Rob and, and Eric as, as well give their points. But number one is the, none of the flesh tones are good. This one's the closest to a good flesh tone. These are bad. The flesh tones are just off. You have a little bit too much flash here, but also, this would have been a time to put that the stands in the background that are empty and ugly out of focus. You probably shot this at like f 7.1, maybe 5.6, where this could have been a 6.3. Right this could have been a 2.8 and really yep, made a beautiful would shot. The, they, yep. You would have realized she's on the football field because yep. she's laying on the football field. Um, yep. Fix the skin, skin tone. Put the backgrounds out of focus. All of these backgrounds could have been out of focus. You would you would know she was on bleachers. You would know she's on a brick wall. However, there's one other thing. Your lighting, while it's not, none of it is bad lighting. None of it is good lighting. It's just very flat. flat yeah. There's no depth flat. and there's no dimension at all. They're just very, look at that light. It's just, it's not, it's not flattering. It yeah. doesn't have depth or dimension. They're just kind of flat. So, I'm only saying these things because you're obviously serious about this. You're good at it, yeah. And I want you to get better. And and the things that you need to get better at aren't aren't hard. They're really really easy. So you just need to get the lighting not straight in front of your subject. Get some shadows and some interest and depth. Uh, let's uh, in post make sure you're you're you have pleasing and flattering skin tones. This one's per, this one's the best of the three by I'm far. Your computer, but yeah, they're they're all over yeah. the place. Yeah, and then they, yeah, the flesh tones thing, are, all they are all over the place. Yeah, but I think I agree with you. I mean, the two things I would say is depth and lighting. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's definitely like that at two point eight. All those at two point eight would be better. And one last thing, I think you could work with your subjects a little bit better. Uh, their their fi their smiles look forced. Like, okay, smile, like, okay, I can't do this anymore. You, you got to get some more natural expressions out of them. Um, so all three of them look, they're obviously posed, but they look posed. One thing I've learned about cheerleaders is they get their pictures taken a lot. So they have like their go-to default, like I'm on smile. And that's generally not very real. And so these girls obviously are cheerleaders. And so they're, they have a smile they go to, but it's not genuine. So like. Right, it's the I'm smiling for the stands. Correct. Well, yeah, you're smiling for somebody at a distance. Yep. So when you're smiling at somebody at a distance, like uh, theater the same way, you've got to over accentuate your smile. You've yep. got to take it over the top. So they, you, that was another thing, dial it back. Just dial it back a little bit. Just have them dial it back. Yep. Yeah. Hey, we want to give a shout out to Carrie Kuna, who's here. Hey, Carrie. Hi, Carrie. We're getting so, ready to go trick or treating tonight, huh? Yep. 
Yep. yep. What are you going to be? You have a costume, Eric? I do not, but she's got a pretty cool astronaut costume That's we're cool. going to rock tonight. I'm going trick-or-treating tonight. Rock well, I'm not going trick-or-treating. I'm accompanying trick-or-treaters. Um, Will Taylor says, hey, Eric. Hey. Hey, Will. Cheryl says, hello, gentlemen. Loving the grid all the way from Biloxi, Mississippi. Thank you very all much. Right. Hi, Cheryl. And, uh, Biloxi is in Mississippi, right? Okay. And we got Mariana there Mariana's from London. From London. All right. Hey, we, we should take a break. We are. We're going to take we a break. We should take right a break. Do you think we should take a break? We should. Let's Either look to Amanda, or our entire studio audience. Problem. What do you think? Break time, Amanda? Just right, thumbs up from Amanda. We're taking a break. It has been cleared by the network. <laughs> we'll be right back. Was Rob. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Canon. Make sure you don't miss any episodes of The Grid by subscribing to Apple's podcast app or iTunes. It's free, and we even have a special audio-only version, too. So sign up today. Hey, everybody. We're back. Scott Kelby here with Rob Foley. Rockin' Rob Foley. And Eric Kuna. The yeah, Rocket yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's interesting on the break we we saw that uh, Havard actually uh, confirmed on his image. So he was the one with the waterfall image, right? And he that said he, he needed an Andy brown. Yeah, he and the said yellows. rub the reaction, love the reaction of my images. Thanks a lot. I dropped the ND filter, so I could oh, not use it on the waterfall. So he knows about it, which is good. All right, so, so the, yeah, that's the thing. He yeah. knew well, about we it. Saw, well, we yeah. saw the first image. Didn't yeah, have a yeah, ND, yeah. So, all right. As far as so, the whoops image, confirmation. It was still good. Yeah. He knew. He just dropped it. It happens. Right. It, happens. it happens. Mine's usually I left it in the car. <laughs> All right. Hey, but we're going to look at another image. Let's answer this question from Pernil. All right. So Pernil is asking, looking to buy a new lens for zoo rehearsal shots and, and bird photography. So I'm guessing, yeah. So zoo rehearsal shots and bird photography. The main reason for my wildlife photography on travel, big cats, etc. I have been um, on a safari trip with my Canon EOS 77D and a 70 to 300, and I've got some great pictures, better than I expected. I was thinking of buying the Tamron 150 to 600 millimeters, the Sigma 150 to 600 sports, the Sigma 600, 60 to 600, or the Canon 100 to 400 L with an extender. Photography is my hobby, and photos are, uh, are for myself, but I want to improve and um, use a lot of this time in photography. Any advice? Well, so. I, th I think you're already barking up the right tree. You need a 600. Yes. Uh, yes. I, what I would be concerned with, these are all good lenses. None of these are going to take bad pictures. Uh, I would be concerned with, with the weight and the size at this point of, of the lenses. Mm -hmm. Because all of those lenses, the Tamron, the Sigma, the Canon, they're all good. I've shot the Canon 100 to 400. It's, it's a great lens. 
Uh, you put an extender on there, you'll lose the stop of light, but then you're going to be, all, all of them are, are, none of them are going to be 2.8. Uh, yeah. But I will say this, you, you, you're going to want that 600. Either that or an animal will eat you. Uh, and, and from everybody that I've talked to who's been on safari, they all say the same thing. I should have taken the 600. I took a 400. I thought it would be long enough. It's not long enough. You're going to want a 600. Because even so, if you're, like, surprised yourself and you get close, the 600 is still going to give you a reach that nobody else. Oh, yeah. It's just a focal length that most people don't see. Same thing in sports or anything else. Oh, I mean, yeah. It and that's that a, you, you kind of answered reach. it there. Like, at the end of the day, you're onto the right lenses. The I've shot with three of them. Okay. And... The Canon is the best lens, but you're going to have to put an extender on it, and yep. it's going to cost a lot more. Yeah, and yeah. you're going to lose the stop of light. That Tamron's probably, for the price, I think the best lens on yeah. that list. But that's just me. All right. Well, there you go. There's someone who shot the 150 to 600. Mm -hmm. and, and lightweight and small because yeah. if you're on safari, you, you don't want to be hoisting some giant lens. And hopefully it's bright so you can stop down a third of a stop or two-thirds of a stop yep. as far as, you know, and get some extra sharpness out of those lenses. Extra sharpness with Rob Foldy. Speaking of Rob Foldy, we are oh, in. We're, we've got some sports pictures, so we're just going to leave these to you, Rob. Okay. Here we go. Let's take a look. Okay. Un. Okay. Do. Do. Toi. Toi. This person's seen all of Dave Black's Cal One <laughs> classes, um, and did a great job. Okay, I like him. I mean, I like the. Obviously, you lit all these, which is difficult to do, especially shooting really wide like this. And action. Um, and action. So, um, yeah, I mean, great job on that front. They're lit. They're, they're shot very wide, 16, 14 millimeters, um, in very, very close. Um, great depth, great dimension. Next. Yeah. This one, the road is a little bright, but that's my, just my, uh, the initial thing that I see. But overall, great, great time of day. Um, if I have to critique them... The light looks a little unnatural on that. It, the, the the tone is different. Maybe throw yeah, a gel the on there. Light is white, so throw a gel. Yeah. Good call. Yeah, it, it just doesn't yep. look. Um, doesn't look sunset. That, that looks super strobed. Can I touch your? Of course. There you go. This Can one. Touch your computer. Yeah, is artificial. I love the silhouette of the trees and the and the dimension and the in the clouds. I like the contrast of the colors with the orange clay and the green ball. And then this one's great. This one is, is probably my favorite. I like yep. the uh, little bit of the blue sky trickling in there, the foreground mm -hmm. element of the trees, all around, good job. It's also the one that has the most balance between the, the, yep. the lights. Yeah, and, and it, it's, yeah. it's the same direction. Like, you can see yeah. it coming in from the left side of the screen. It makes the most natural sense. It doesn't scream strobed. Yeah. Like you these. know what does scream a little stroby, though? Go back. That the uh, those plants are lit on yeah, the right. Yeah, right, right. I, I think, I, think I would I would either darken them or just get rid of them all together. Mm -hmm. uh, not the whole bush, just those stalks, like the four stalks that are sticking out that are lit. Those aren't helping your photo. They're yeah, not you like could wow. Do one of those gradient things, you'd lose them all together. No, no, I would. Yeah, I would just clone out like this spot. Okay. That one, that little spot, yeah, that little spot, saying. and Maybe that. Yeah. I okay. wouldn't take away the bush. I would just take away those. I They're just kind of distracting. Sensor dust, in the sensor corner, dust yeah. and junk up there. The other thing, yeah. this one, uh, this one, I, my, I have a little issue is there, there's not really any kind of spin in the wheels, and and that's a problem when you're using flash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because those like he's parked like is the race about to start. So that's uh, it's tough when you're using flash. So Tammy's asking a question: What color gel would you use? Oh, a CTO, uh, yes, a, a half the, cut, yeah, a one half cut of yep. CTO, which stands for color temperature orange. You can buy them for six dollars and ninety nine cents a sheet at B and H Photo for a twenty by twenty inch sheet. And mm -hmm. you can cut those up if you're using small flashes. Oh yeah, you'll, you see you'll the, the the color keep of the for sun. Four years. The the color of the sun is that orange golden hour sunset yeah. color and it's just a that's a white middle of the day noon strobe so you that's how you match it is by putting yeah those. so you Ooh. just want to push it more towards the lower kelvin temperatures yep. hey and and robin's photo says rent the lenses before you put in that kind of investment hey true. we might be able it's to help true. with that because today we're going to be giving away a gift card from lens pro to go 50 dollars gift card so maybe that will help you rent maybe you'll win yeah Actually, we're, we, we're, we're solving why don't we the just, problems. Why don't we just grid? give this to them? Because we have we can give two away. Okay. We'll give you one. So find out who that is. Oh, it's yeah. Pernell. All right. Oh yeah, All there right. it is. There you go. All right. You got fifty dollars. We got there we you got go. you a fifty dollars. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. We got you a fifty dollars card. So we'll send this. So pick one of those. And pick one of those and rent it, and you'll find out. Is that do we, do we think that Cubasi is and the Mike? Yes. Cubasi? There's only one. So Hollywood Mike Cubasi says get a monopod for the big lens. 
How about the 100 to 400 with a crop sensor on the 7D Mark II? Um, that would be great, but that 100 yeah. to 400, you, you're not going to need a monopod for that 100 to 400. Probably going to be shooting from a car. Because the, the, yeah. the 100 to 400 is only this long. Mike, it's yeah. not one of these. It's one of these. It's not the 2 to 400. No, it's not the 200 it, to 400. The 100 to 400, it's a great lens, too. Yeah, it's, it's, great. It's, it's a great lens. It's very, very sharp. And you, you would more likely, because you, you'll more likely be in a vehicle. You're mm -hmm. not going to set up a, a monopod in yeah. your vehicle. You're more likely going to want to get something that sits like a beanbag or something that sits on the window or in the yeah. Jeep mm -hmm. or something like that. But you're like never going to regret having too much focal length. Like you're no, never going to be, oh, no. man, I can zoom in too close to this. Especially right. those zoom lenses. Just One last out. comment. We got to go. See these like shadows that. on her leg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the racket. Yeah, get rid of those. Can you see the picture? See these shadows on her leg? You know what else? I would do one more thing, and it wouldn't be fun to do, but see how big her foot is? Trust me, she ain't thrilled with that. No one says, oh, look, your foot's giant. And if you're I, shooting for Nike, then the Nike's not sharp enough, so you're yeah. for two. So I, I would make that foot a little smaller and get rid of that. Okay, let's still move good. on. Still, still, still good. Still good. Still all very good. So don't, you know, don't, you got to take this with a grain of salt. Mm. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Eric, were we shooting right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were. Eric, are we shooting right there? Well, probably. Yeah. You're singing now. You're not singing. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were singing. This is really mm. nice. Isn't These that are nice? good. These are good. Nice long exposures. Nice exposures in general. Nice. I like nice the foreground, foreground oh, where it's yeah. got a little triangle. That's really nice. nice. This yeah. is all good. Good, good, good. Whoever you are. Keep up the good. One it's little minor, super, super minor critique. Lose <laughs> that, this, the skyscraper. This picture is so pretty. But you mean, lose just the, goes to lose that. that? I did Take too. out that. Yeah. Yeah. Take that out. It does not need to be there. Great job, though. Great job. Very nicely done. Yeah, you. All right. Let's roll on. What do we have here? We have three shots. Okay. Venice. Yeah, that's Venice. That's Venice. The Bridge of Sighs. This one's got to go. You know yeah, that, right? Nice. That's like, well, what? Adios, amigo. Yeah, this is adios. Yeah. <laughs> adios, amigo. This shot is it's not, it's not a shot. There's it's, not much to yeah, it. Yeah, there's nothing going on. It's just a kind of a busy, messy. It's a snapshot yeah. turned into black and white. Yeah, it's a snapshot. Making it black and white doesn't make it into it. Yeah. All right. This one I, I kind of like, except... That and this and Rob was kind of mentioning this earlier. This thing in the front is a little is a little out of focus. And this would be a hard one to get this in focus and all the way back there in focus. Mm -hmm. So it's a little soft up front. What you would have to do to make this work is you'd have to do focus stacking. Just and and this would be a, the easiest focus stack you've ever done. You would take one shot where you put your focus point on here. Take the exact same shot and just move your focus point like over here. Then you'll have two shots, one where this is crystal clear, one where this is crystal clear. You put them together and, you know, it makes a crystal clear shot. That's pretty yep. cool, though. Especially if you're on a tripod. You just take one focus this on the guy. This one, one has got thing. some problems. This yes. uh, has uh, problemas. All right. So first off, you have the, the church over here. What is this, the Church of the Santa Maria? What is this, the this Church of the... Yeah, the yeah. one across the canal. It's, it's like tipping over in a bad way. Everything's mm -hmm. kind of tipping. So it's, it's... It needs lots of... Uh, I can't open a camera wrong. Let me just uh, open it. Yeah, you're going to need some serious uh, lens, stuff lens corrections. here. Yeah, you're going to... I think what you're going to have to do, though, is let's go to... Let's unlock the background layer, and let's actually just... You're going to have to pull it like this, and then pull it down some, or... You're gonna, you got some issues. Yeah. One of my favorite tools for something like this, if you have the raw file, is there's a, like a guided upright in Lightroom. Or a guided upright would do it, yeah. But yeah. But your straight line. I can just move one knob here instead of four and guide yeah. it upright. <laughs> All right, so now there's an issue with my screen. Why is this? Okay. And then I would use content aware fill. Let's do that. Uh, you guys know Phil, right? Yep. Phil's oh, yes. Right. Phil's a great friend. We're going to select that stuff back like there, Phil. this little corner over here. Then to make content aware fill work better, we're going to go select modify and expand it by four pixels not two that's for losers four that's for studs and then <laughs> go fill all in four pixels and boom give it a second that was a premature boom 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 boom, boom. oh i missed that little area in the uh, corner uh, but anyway you get you, the point you could fix that a lot now yeah. let's look at our before and after 
Let's zoom in so you can see a little better. So you were here, and then you move one little thing, and you're there. Yeah, it's just everything was like tip. Yeah, it was up. all like kind of cruising over to the left, and and it's a pretty shot. You should, it's worth fixing. But not bad, all the way around, not bad. Just a little bit of tweaking here and there, you know. <gasps> it's Ricardo, it is Ricardo. He was with me in Italia, in Roma. Ricardo, he's very Italian. He's a very good photographer, Ricardo. Yeah, he was on your workshop? Yeah, he was, yeah, he was cool. awesome. We had, a, we had so much fun. Speaking that was of ridiculous. Hey, thank you. So, I, I mentioned Rami's workshop earlier. I didn't tell you where to go. Rami is giving us a huge discount if you watch the grid. Huge. So, yeah. how much all the code is what? $800 off. $800 off. The workshop is $28,000. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, $28, no, no, just kidding. It's $800 off a pretty significant one. Yeah. To learn more about the what workshop, was the where website? Do you go? it was uh, bit.ly.com okay, forward slash. So, go to bit.ly, B I T dot L Y slash. Uh, Kelby. Kelby, Canada. Canada. And then the code is Kelby. And the code is Kelby, yay. The code is Kelby. It's but you easy. can go find out about the workshop. And you and I, can, we can have some hot cocoa together. Maybe Ricardo will go. The, we'll the have code, cocoa. This code is so much easier than our codes, right? Yeah. This code's just Kelby. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, we make ours, like, Kelby hyphen so there one is. hyphen. Oh, <laughs> so, the, so one is sold out, which is the five-day workshop. I think you workshop. scroll down. You're scroll down. To yours. Or the one you're going, there's what's Scott's oh, yeah. coming. That's me. There you go. You can enter I'm the there. code right there. It says enter the code. And yeah. we can have hot chocolate. I think we're yep. going to have a lot of hot chocolate. Yep. So is it cold, is it cold on those trips? In, in Canada in winter? No, yeah. it's nice. Nah, it's, no, it's great. About Juan, 50, is Juan going to go? Dress warm. Yeah, Juan's going to dress below. warm. Juan, Juan will be dressed <laughs> like Nanook of the North. Let's look at some more photos. But thank you for mentioning all that. Rob Foldy, Rob Foldy. Sports, huh. Foldy. sports, Foldy time. Tell. Dun, it's pretty dun, interesting. Dun, 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 dun. Inter Rob Foldy. Okay. Mm, dun, interesting. Dun, dun, dun. Fold, 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 fold. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. All right. All right. Look, wheel spin. Look at that wheel I spin. I like that. I like the wheel spin. That's nice. I also look, like, like how the, they have the like leading the into the yeah, frame. Yeah. yeah. Look, like and they got space in front of yeah. this. Is a, this is a pro shot. Nice. Yes. yes. One, one little nice, minor nice. critique. We just like minor, it. Minor, we minor. like it. I don't like the lines yeah. on the left. I, is this so right here? Yeah. 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 I was Take those out. There. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Get rid of those. Just crop it. Like, just bring that over. Like, nah, just, nah. Just whatever. get rid of it. That space in front of the car is so if nice. If it's editorial, crop it. If it's commercial, yeah. then clone stamp it. Yeah, just take that out. <laughs> I like All the right. composition. Take, just take it out. Whoa. I like this Whoa. shot. I like the moment. I like the contrast of the black outfit and the red bike and the against the sky. The critique would just be it's a little flat, like it's overcast and the light's kind of flat. Yeah, it just is. It's flat. Depth. But for that, I mean, it's great gesture. Uh, exactly. I mean, Everything else a, about yeah. it is, is I perfect. Mean, it's, it, that was just the day you were given. Yeah, that was it, the day you were given. It looks... Yeah, maybe some wheel spin in that. Like yeah. a lush, but that's, that's so. It's gonna be hard freeze. when it's gonna be. Yeah, yeah that's, moving in fast. And, and these are we're, we're looking for problems. It's a good yeah, shot. That's right. a good shot. I, lo I like this a lot. This shot. Yeah. Yep. I love it. <laughs> yep. That's cool. Yeah. I love this shot. Yeah. And if that car was blue or something else, it wouldn't work as well as with the, the high no, contrast. No, this is of the like red. so great. I yeah. love red that shot. Yeah, love lion. it, love it. You're good. Yeah. Yep. You're good. That first shot's awesome. Wait, wait, wait. I wish wait. you sunlight, because it looks like all of those pictures were taken in overcast. So I I hope that you get a... Oh, you know what's missing? Right there. Yep. Boom. <laughs> Boom. All right. Perfect. Print it. Uh, Print it. Hey, you know, we should take a break, though. Gosh, oh, we're running print. out of photos. Okay. We have three. Only have three. Running if we out. get through these three in this one show, I'm going to be amazed. All right. We'll get through three more. Remy we says it's we summer weather, it. boys. Summer weather. Oh, no. 40 below. 100 below. No, it's 200. not that. I'm Dave Williams, and I'm inviting you to a brand new course on Kelby One, Cinematic Drone Photography. I'll be showing you everything you need to create the best photos and the best video from your drone. How to replicate things that are done in Hollywood movies to make the best cinematic videos and photos that you can and to really stand out among the crowd in this ever-growing drone market. With the rise of commercial drones becoming much more affordable, you need to be the one that stands out among the crowd and I'm going to show you how to do that. Hi 
everyone, my name is Mimo Meidani, I'm a long exposure photographer and welcome to Venice. Today in our class, I'm going to teach you the long exposure. In order to do that, we need to work on the filters, how to set the filters, how to set the camera, how to use our remote control, how to compose and all of that. And in the end, I'm going to go to my Lightroom and Photoshop to teach you how to do the best editing with the black and white Lightroom and Photoshop. Come check out my class on long exposure photography exclusively at kelby1.com. To be a successful artist, you gotta have a great art, but you gotta have a great marketing. And YouTube is one of the greatest marketing weapon out there on this planet. I think the first step is to find your voice. What is it that you want to do on YouTube? Get inspiration from existing YouTube channels. Title is king and thumbnail is queen in the world of YouTube. 90% of the traffic I get is from suggested videos and it only comes because I'm a regular. But that's how I grew from zero to half a million subscribers. Bonjour, my name is Serge Remily. I want you to check out my latest class, How to Grow Your YouTube Channel. It's amazing and it's gonna blow your mind exclusively on Calbi One. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Platypod, the world's most compact tripod base. Did I mention we're giving away a Think Tank bag today? You Eric, have show not. the bag. Oh, yeah. We're giving show away a Think bag. Tank bag. We got such great giveaways. Look at this. Wham. You guys do have the best. Wham. Wham. The Look best. at this best Think the Tank best. bag. Which, which bag is it? Doesn't matter. It's my Think Tank. It's the best. Thank you. It's the best. They're the best. It's Think the best. It's yeah. uh, Think Tank. It's speed a, Convertible. It's the Speed Convertible from Think Tank. Yeah, oh, yes, it is. Oh, yeah, yes, it is. is. I think Rob, I think Rob lives in a Think Tank bag, right? Rob lives in a yeah. Think Tank I bag. I could live in my production manager 50. Yeah, you could. <laughs> I could sleep in there. So I forgot to mention, my, uh, my daughter reminded me that Benny, who is her puppy, is going as a scientist as well. Oh, so she's Benny the, the yeah, puppy. Yeah, astronaut the and the scientist. Yeah, so Very good. That should All be right. cool. Well, we've, we've done a pretty good job with our images today. Uh, yeah, i got this three more, right? One, these are really good. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to say it before I even show you. I can tell just from the thumbnails. I'm telling you, yeah. the thumbnails Boom. are really good. Yep. Boom. Boom. Look it. It's got everything. Portofino, nice. Italy. Yeah. Next on our list. Portofino. Come hold me tight. Kiss me, Rob Foley. Be mine tonight. Mm. <gasps> Tomorrow will be too late. Since I'm not a these are beautiful, aren't they? Landscape photographer, can I ask you guys a question? Yes, you may. Go back to that Portofino shot. Yeah. How is the water so like long exposure icy, but the boats are sharp? Is that just like Photoshop? Well, yeah. Like do a quick one, like a faster share speed to keep the yeah. boats. So, so, so what we do, and... you saw that class with Mimo Madani just a moment yeah. ago on screen. Yeah. By the way, Mimo, greatest guy ever. I believe that Mimo and I next year, I'm going to tell him to put it out there right now. Ready? We're going to be doing a workshop, me and Mimo, in Paris, France. Bomb dropped. Bomb dropped. Boom. When? I cannot tell you that. You know why? Because I have spring in Paris. No, I have it's, fall I, in Paris. It's sometime in Summer Paris. Summer in Paris. No, I, have, I, I, I always tell the people that have been to my previous workshops mm -hmm. that they get first shot in my new workshops. Yes. That's so when fair. I do announce it and all, I that let them know first. Because I love okay. the people that have been to my workshops. I, I have had the greatest people in my workshops, except for Ricardo, who was awful. Uh, everybody else, no, uh, seriously, I've been really blessed with just. If like you ask my wife what time fun. to go to Paris, it would be whenever they're having sold days. Sold days? Sales. Sales. They have Sales. twice right. a year. I so learned that, that we word one time during ago. sold days, it was trouble. Sold days is the sale days. Sold okay. days. So, so anyway, Bad if you watch news. that class of Mimos, what Mimo will show you is take the long exposure and then. Before you move your camera off the tripod, unscrew the ND and take one more shot so you can get the clean things like mm -hmm. boats and clean okay. details, and then you have the water all nice. Okay. Or it can yeah. be faked all together. I don't know what they did. But anyway, yeah. this is a lovely shot. It's not a landscape, just in case you were wondering. That is uh, travel. This is more landscapey, and that's these are beautiful. Just great subjects. Yeah, see, great like that composition. last one where putting something kind of dead center there. Is good. This you works know? great. That works great. Sometimes yeah. the rules yeah. are meant to be broken. Uh oh, Terry White's in the house. What? Uh, like hi, a, Terry. I love that frame at the end of that square. Hey, can, can I give Terry a shout out real quick? Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. First off, two things. Number one, I went to Adobe Max in Los Angeles. Terry was in the keynote. 
Oh, yeah. Watched it online. Crushed it. Awesome. He was amazing. But Very cool. Also, congratulations to Terry. He was teaching last week in Nikon's booth at Photo Plus East up in New York City. Uh, and I heard from somebody that was there. They said Terry was, was lights out. Just absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. So congratulations to Terry. Two back-to-back -back presentations. That you don't have to house. hit the shift key anymore to do that. Remember? You don't? Oh, so now it's the opposite. It's the opposite yeah. now. But I think Rob's trying to take this picture up like 10 notches right yeah, now. Yeah, just, just go to free transform and... Oh, I think he's got it. This is beautiful. Yeah, don't touch Yeah, don't anything. shift the shift don't key. Don't touch the shift key. You have to go opposite of what you keys. think. You have to go to the move tool, though. Wait, oh, no, I'm breaking things. Oh, oh boy. Forget it. Oh, Rob, Rob doesn't know how to use the new 2019 right. Photoshop. Not text so there. is it... Havard says, Scott, will you bring string cheese? You mean spray cheese, I'm sure. Probably spray cheese. Yes, always. Now, you'd probably bring string cheese anyways, right? Yeah. I mean, no cheese string is really cheese, bad yeah, All cheese is fair. And yeah. they're lovely cheese. So this shot, it's subtle. <laughs> it's very subtle. But if you zoom in, you'll see what it's really it is. really good now. Way back in the back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's what makes that shot. Anyway, great. This photographer, you rock. Beautifully, yes, beautiful beautifully stuff. done. And then uh, just a couple more, and we're going to wrap things up. It's foldy time. Fast doom, foldy. Doom, 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 okay. foldy. Next. Next. Okay. Mm. What do you say? Good moments. So yes. this is a good yeah. moment. Um, I like how many sets of eyes you can see. So I like the fact that you can see the, the ball carrier's eyes, this number nine defender's eyes, this number 29 coming after him. So I like that. Um, you HDR'd the... Lo you used a lot of HDR. You pulled those shadows up or, a lot. Or clarity or, or something. some tonal There's something. something that, that doesn't make Yeah, Did you do anything sense. with cropping on that one, do you um, think? From where I, they yeah, are? We no, can you, you can't do much because of the, the outstretched defender's legs. Yeah. But you know what this thing needs? Two things. He's right. You, you, you lost all the blacks, so let's bring them back in. Yeah, their uniforms aren't gray. Yeah, now the blacks are back. It's too blue. It's back in black. It's too vibrant overall. Yeah. It's blue. He looks dead. Like his skin looks. Yeah. yeah. It, there's some other issues. But the other one, this that might have gone a little too far with the blacks there. But also, the white balance is horrible. Yes. Yes. And some magenta. You mean the blue balance? And <laughs> let's, let's actually use the white balance eyedropper and drop it on something kind of a neutrally color. Uh, I'm not Where's liking the that. The there really isn't. Oh, how about shoulder? this guy's his shoulder? Okay. Oh. Well, let's just see. Our, our, yeah, that's it's better. It's, it's bringing it back. Yeah, look, it's look still, how blue it was. It's the blue balance. Right. Another, again, good moment. Um, you need to be a lot lower. So you need to be kneeling or sitting yeah, or like as low as you can out. get would, would uh, separate. They're, everything's kind of on the same plane. So these players in the foreground, the players in the background, then the, the, the parents and coaches, the people in the background, they're all kind of level. If you get low, it would really, it would get him against those trees in the sky and really clean that up. Yeah, white yeah, balance is very blue. Um, it wasn't sharpened enough. It needed a lot yeah. more sharpening. Yes. Okay, next. All right, so that's, that's that one. But good moment. But good moment. So and get mm -hmm. and getting the good moment is is it's a key thing. Timing is is important. Not a good moment. <laughs> and speaking of timing, um, I like Bad the fact moment. that the ball is flat. I think that's probably if I had to guess, that'd be what drew you to this image. And that is a pretty rare shot in tennis. But the fact that it's covering his face and his tongue's out, there's advertisements along the bottom of the frame. His hands doing something weird. For a very it's tight a shot, bad, there's not a lot of separation from the background. It's a very bad time of day and. Uh, <laughs> Tennis is very difficult to shoot. I've, I've shot the Miami Open, and it's, it's very difficult, especially this time of day. So uh, you, you wouldn't be looking at that so much, though, if you could see his face. Correct. If you could see his face, yeah. I think that would have taken the shot up enough to where you would have maybe not picked out that other stuff. Yes. 
Well, the, to me, the, these things glare out immediately. Yeah, the, the, the globe in the corner and the, whatever the left is of those letters is the bright. We talked about it earlier. The brightest part of the picture and that fluorescent green, which is conveniently yeah, what like, a lot of oh, vendors and yeah, that's what other they people want. in sports wear, so you can see them. Like, oh, the beer vendor. Let's give them neon green, except for they're in the back of every picture. So that kind of stuff, you really got to try to lose so your eye doesn't jump there. Anyway, this needs some work. We're running out of time, Rob Foldy. Good moment, bad light. Good moment. Bad also light. Also blue. Also blue. Very blue. Your white balance is an issue. So your post processing might be where you could definitely. Uh, and you're too high too. If you can get lower for this picture, too high. would help. Although shooting elevated baseball does make it clean, so bring the exposure down like third of a stop, please. Bring it bring down a stopa. Exposure a stopa. I'd like an a stopa out of there. Yeah. That's just tough because he's in that shadow and his shoes in the light. Good moment, though. You know what moments make a good sports photo now. Yeah, but show the before and after there. Yeah. Taking out the blue balance. Yep. Getting the levels better. Yep. Why won't it let me zoom? Scott is a very, very talented sports photographer. He keeps def deferring to me, but he is very <laughs> talented, although he's almost retired from sports. I'm in semi-retirement. My, my knee... So it's, it's funny what you're saying. So I haven't been shooting sports... Uh, last year, it, uh, it, so here's what happened. I was at the Outback Bowl this year in January. Okay. All right, I was at the Outback Bowl, and I was shooting. At the end of the game, um, the team is uh, at center field. They're holding the trophy. The confetti's going off, and I get down low. I put a 14 on my camera. I want a really wide, big, epic-looking shot, and I, I go to get up, and my, I could not straighten my leg. I couldn't stand up, yeah. and a photographer beside me says, are you okay? Do you, need, do you need help? And I'm like, no, no, I'm fine. And I went to get up and I, I like my knee was like, you're not getting up. And I said, I actually do. I do. And he had reached down and, 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 and pulled me up. So the, two years ago, I spent, I think too much time on my knees and, and it, it destroyed my knees last year, or excuse me, year before last. So that was two, three seasons ago, two seasons ago, I, I just stopped shooting really on my knees and I wasn't happy with the photos. Yeah. I didn't take any photos the entire year that I felt like, hey, that's a really good photo. And at that point I realized if I can't get out of Especially my knees. Especially once you know the difference. And, and once you yeah. learn some of these things, oh, yeah. you're, you're, you train your eyes so to the, see them. And you're you like, do I just wrong. don't like what I'm getting. So the learning moment there is, especially shooting football, getting down on one knee and shooting from there. It's is, key. It's key. It's absolutely because key. Because it's actually taking you out of the game. Correct. Right. Yeah. So. I can still shoot things like tennis, baseball, all the all the sports that that don't require you to be on your knee. Yeah. Uh, volleyball, other stuff. So when I do get to shoot the Dolphins, I I, I will probably get on my knees a couple of times if there's like. Well, once a season's different than three yeah, times a week. Yeah, but doing it a bunch. Well, I never yeah. do three times a week. You you hustle like nobody in the sports industry. Like, you'll drive from state to state and from one end of the state to the other. And I'm like, if I have to drive to, like, the stadium here in Tampa, I'm like, oh, God, I got to go to the stadium. <laughs> it's like 25 minutes. So, anyway. All but, right, uh, so we got one more? All right, I think, I think we did. One let's, more. Let's, let's critique these. Can I critique the ones on screen? These are the... Oh, those I could critique these. First <laughs> oh, shot, man. excellent, perfect, perfect position for the light. Second shot, great timing, great exposure, perfectly done. Third shot, great moment, great cropping, great everything. Fourth shot, this guy's good. You don't need to re critique. Whoever that guy is, he's perfect. All right, last one, last one of today. So I can't get these very large. I have to open them in Photoshop to get any sp any size out of them. So let's just see if I can. Oh, that's not going to open them, is it? Let's try this. All right. So we have a shot. Here's one. And and there's one. So I'll say from a consistency standpoint, especially looking at them when they were thumbnails, you can, you know what you're going to get from this photographer, at least from these three pictures. Mm -hmm. um, so consistency is key, especially when you're booking clients, because, it, you know, one of the things that, um, Tim Wallace talks about in his Kelby classes is you're not selling future clients past work. You're selling them work that you haven't made yet. So your examples on your website show what you're capable of and what you're going to deliver in the future. And these three images are extremely consistent. So that is a plus. Um, and they they are storytelling images. This image looks like it's taken in a 
graveyard. Graveyard. Let's be honest. A graveyard. graveyard. It's Halloween, so it's, yeah, mm-hmm. fit, in the, fit in the narrative there. Uh, yeah. Retouched well. You know what, though? With this, something's bothering me in this one. Just me. But down here, if, I'm if I, I may even get to it in camera raw. Uh, I, I can't zoom it in enough to show you. But there's something. I, this whole thing is very unflattering right yes. here. Yeah. The way her if leg is sitting her knee here, yeah. if she bit. would lift this up. That's very unflattering. It's pancakey looking. It's kind of yeah. funky. The other leg isn't really great looking. Not that her legs are. I'm sure her legs are fine. But I'm just saying it. But this, even with her knee bent and that other one, it's, it's it, just it, not it, flattering. Everything down here yeah. is just not flattering, and not because of the subject. Because that, that's on you. What if you pull uh, the brush? The, the graveyard is a little bright, the too. Yeah. The graveyard is a bit bright. There's not Compared a lot of to even the other ones, if you compare Let's it to just, the other ones. Yeah. So if you, a little bright. The, if you take the graveyard back to there, and then you dropped a mask, a Rooney on it. And we're out of time, by the way, so we're going to have to bolt. Okay. Have to bounce. <laughs> we're going to have to bounce, but let's bring bounce. some of her back. I don't know where that came from. Yeah. Bounce. Bounce. All right, that that's a five second awful version, but yeah, that graveyard Separates needs to be yeah, it needs to be a lot darker back yep. there. Okay, yep. that was that one. Yeah, this this is another not flattering pose. I don't think really uh, in that same area. Uh, just and she feels very crowded in the frame. They all, that was part of the consistency. Is they if if these were only going on the web or on Instagram, they're fine. But there's there's not really a lot of room for these to breathe. Yeah. Yeah. It's claustrophobic. Um, I kind of like this yeah, one. Yeah, I like that one a lot. I like the reflection. And, I and like this the one, pose. there's not anything that's there's really not flattering. Like no weird leg stuff. Crossed. I, I like that a lot. I like the very flat, like, 1970s fashion yep. look to it. And it's the post-processing. It has a processing that, that to it, yeah. Film it's cool. Fade. Yeah. That's but the that image doesn't look like those other two. They no, it doesn't. Besides the, 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 the filling the frame and the focal length and the, and the pose, that is the consistency, but there isn't any really consistency. Well, maybe in doing the more of this. And le- and the other yeah, ones, yeah. I think it really comes down to the posing. Uh, yeah, a lot of it. This is far and away, I think, posing. the best one of yeah. the three. Oh, far absolutely. and away. Like, this, if this is a style that you could do again and again, yeah. same kind of feel, mm-hmm. same kind of post, yeah. you would get work based on people going, ooh, yeah. I like that look and I want that. The other ones, there was nothing that you could say that, Anybody couldn't take those shots. I worked with a guy named uh, Kelby One instructor, Chris Knight. Oh yeah, so well, Chris is really. When I worked good. with Chris, we worked with another photographer. Um, oh, really? I remember Chris's name, Nick Suarez, on Instagram. His stuff looks a lot like this. I'd recommend whoever this is check out Nick Suarez. Check Nick Suarez on Instagram. On Instagram. Well, guys, we've run completely out of time. We're overtime, and we have to go because it's overtime. All it's so uh, uh, red. It's all red up it's there, all red. right? Rob, thank you very much. Thank Where can people go learn me. more about Rob Foldy? I have a website, uh, robfoldy.com, and uh, Instagram, Rob Foldy, Twitter, Rob Foldy. I'm, a, I'm around. You yeah, you've got me. a great name because nobody else is named Rob Foldy but you. That I know of. Well, nobody would. Who would have that name? Come on. Ugh. Look at that. Mm-hmm. That's big league. That's a big leaguer. Gators. Okay. Here's, here's, here's something. There's, go back to oh, that shot. Gators. There's something you rarely see a gator making a play. Hey. Oh, oh come, on. Hey-o. come on. Come on. Boom. Just a joke. Ouch. Just a joke. <laughs> Just a joke. All right. It's totally a joke. Rob Foldy. Thank you for having me. Well, we loved having you. You're Rob Foldy. Amanda, you did a wonderful job as our audience. You were mm-hmm. completely silent at all times, which is what we're looking for in an audience. Christina, Juan, Jason in the booth, Ron. And Mr. Beautiful Air Kuna. Yes, yes. Hey, we didn't tell you where to go to win the stuff, so good luck. Yeah. <laughs> go to kelby1.com kelby1. forward slash contest. Kelby1.com. Let's see how slow this jib can go. Kelby1.com slash contest. Tell us what you want to win. That's important. Maybe you'll win the Think Tank bag. Maybe you'll win a $50 gift certificate. Maybe you'll win a Platypod Ultra. Maybe you'll win a weekend love date. Maybe a Stinkers bar. Who knows? It'll have to be with Juan because everybody else is married. So, <laughs> Christine is married. Used to be with Rob, but now Rob's like, he's married. It's the best. All right. I want to see how long they're going right. to hold on this chip shot. And we're out. <laughs>